How's it going, everybody? BDB here. One of the Antifa groups, Gaff Youth Liberation Front, organizing a riot for March 6th, posted the following tweet clarifying they they want violence. I have written and spoken many times about how far left groups and accounts organize violence openly on Twitter with impunity. And that's from Andy No, who's the chief on Antifa and calling them out and you know, going against them. They want to kill him because of this. This is one of their organizers. LOL, please don't ever call us peaceful protesters. We want violence. We want revenge. Get the F out of here with your peaceful shit. Well, F shit up. Create and destroy. They're calling for violence. But under the Biden administration, feds dismissed dozens of charges against Portland rioters. You also had that piece of human garbage yesterday on yesterday's video say that they're not a big deal. And you also had the FBI um, say they're not a domestic terrorist organization when they're literally the definition of domestic terrorists. As the Biden administration has taken the reins of the Department of Justice, the feds have dismissed the dozens of charges against violent rioters in Portland, Oregon. They have dropped charges such as assault on law enforcement officers, arson, and other violent crimes. All of those are federal offenses. They're not just misdemeanors. They're federal offenses. Many have been dropped with prejudice, which they can't be reallocated in the future according to a local news outlet federal prosecutors have dismissed more than one-third of the pending charges from last summer's violent protests in portland that went on for 150 plus days almost 200 days and it's still kind of going on here and there and then kyle ibashi for months i've been tracking down dozens of federal cases stemming from last summer's protests riots they're they're all riots in downtown Portland. So far, 34 of 90 cases have quietly been dismissed by the U.S. Department of Justice, including both misdemeanor and felony charges. It's because Antifa is literally the little, their, their little puppy, their little dog that they set loose. That's the Democrats' little dog. That's why Kamala was paying bail for, you know, rioters and um, other entities in BLM and Antifa. That's why Joe Biden says they're just an idea. That's why most of the D.C. swamp people all say it's just an idea. There's no such thing as Antifa. That's a myth. Disgraceful. It's disgraceful. These people need to go to jail for... Uh, I'd say their crimes. Most of them, if not all of them in Portland, get arrested and get thrown right back out in the street the same night. But hey, I guess Portland's going to just be a shithole from now on. But okay. You voted for this, guys. Sorry, Portland. You voted for this in any blue cities and states. You're literally voting for this. Sorry. Sorry to tell you. Hopefully Texas doesn't become that because those people, those Antifa people, leave Portland after they destroy it and they go to different places. Mostly red states and like Texas and Arizona. And they start the cycle all over again. That's going to be a video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.